wild places are the places that people go to escape from the hustle and bustle of every day. This is where I find peace, out here where I can hear myself think. And I think it's important to conserve these areas for not only myself but for future generations so that people have a place to really go find that sense of what it means to be alive. My name is Jake Glass. I'm a filmmaker working to protect the Scotchman Peaks of Western Montana. The Scotchman Peaks are an 88,000 acre proposed area of wilderness. They span Western Montana, Idaho, and Canada. They represent one of the last and largest wild places left in the United States. Within the territory itself, there is an enormous diversity of plant and animal life. It's also an incredibly unique place, and the campaign here is aiming to gain congressional protection for the peaks. I helped produce a documentary called En Plein Air with my two partners, Matt Staubel and Joe Foster. There were two watercolor painters on a six-day backpacking trip, and we quickly realized that they had a special story to tell and that we could play an integral role in telling that story. I am a plein air artist and basically that means um, dragging all of my paint, all of my gear out into the woods or out onto location and painting on the spot what I'm seeing. We spent the six day backpacking trip uh, learning from these two watercolor painters, documenting their work and understanding their motivations behind uh, painting and advocating for the mountains. There's many ways of advocating for the wilderness. We're used to reading books, to seeing movies, to seeing people talk about it on TV, but we'd never seen actual watercolor art be used in this way, and we thought it was fascinating. En Plein Air has already helped our effort a lot. It gets people paying attention in a different way. It's like a new connection. It's like art and wilderness. What's that about? After completing En Plein Air, we realized that there's still a really special story to be told here. This organization, the Friends of Scotchman Peak Wilderness, has begun to do an extraordinary thing, collaborating with non-traditional partners, uh, the timber industry, and really forging special relationships that you don't see elsewhere in the environmental movement. So we've begun to make a film uh, really talking about that collaboration and using it as a case study to advocate for more collaboration, more cooperation across the political spectrum in America. And I've been in the industry 42 years, so I've been in the, what they call the timber wars where everyone was fighting and nothing was getting done on the ground, so we just felt it was time for a paradigm shift and the documentary can be shared with a lot of different people and therefore I think it'll be educational and helpful good for the environment, good for people, good for communities. I see filmmaking as a form of storytelling. I no longer think that uh, advocacy, that policymaking can be without digital media, without film. It's 88,000 acres. We don't even see everything. By using digital media, by using film and telling the full story, we can spread it to a wider audience. We've brought it to colleges all across the country and we've really broadened the scope of the audience that hears about this story. Even a lot of people that have lived in the community a long time weren't really that familiar with the Scotchman Peaks. But what this film really did was bring the land to the people and now they're thinking, wow, I've got this great place in my backyard. I need to go check it out. I think the campaign for the Scotchman Peaks wilderness and the fight for these mountains is really inspirational and I think that uh, the value of it is that it can motivate and it can push people to fight for wild lands that deserve protection across the country and across the world.